clever friends. We are back yet again today with another wonderful and exciting episode of the Mysterious Ripley House. Um, this is episode 29. On Tuesday next week, we'll hit episode 30, which is very exciting. Um, and today, you guys were very excited about what was going on with Bianca and Hector the Pixie because he is trying to escape. Um, so we're going to dive right in and find out what happens next with them. So uh, without further ado, Let's dive right in, shall we, to the mysterious Ripley House. Okay, here we go. Episode 29. Bianca knew that everything that happened next would be extremely important. Hector the Pixie was flying away. Madame Ripley had made him mad, and Bianca could see that Hector wasn't going to honor their agreement. Oh, maybe he would in six years when Bianca finally found him again in the house. But for now, Hector just wanted to get away from Madame Ripley, who wanted him shut up in a box. Bianca didn't like the fact that Madame Ripley wanted to shut Hector back up in a box, but she still didn't want Hector to fly away. She needed him to become uninvisible. She would keep him out of a box if only he would just keep his word and fulfill his favor and help her. Bianca thought about using her second favor to make Hector stay. But Bianca had a sneaking suspicion that once Hector didn't owe her any more favors, he was going to get even trickier. He might even become a bad guy. Bianca wanted to use only two of her three favors, because if she used her third, well, she didn't know what Hector might do. All of a sudden, Bianca got an idea. Hector! She screeched. Before you leave, you have to make my mouth uninvisible. That's my second favor. Hector zoomed to a halt. Bianca, Hector said, can't you see that I'm currently running away? Yes, I can, Bianca said, and I want you to stop. Just do this quick, and then you can run away and hide and do all the mischief you want. I do want to go do mischief, Hector said. Well, good, Bianca said. Mouth, uninvisible, right now. Hector paused in the mouth of the tunnel, and then he zapped his fingers out at Bianca. With a shring, her mouth reappeared. As soon as her mouth appeared, Hector disappeared by shooting away down the tunnel. Bianca dashed to a mirror to see how weird she looked with just a mouth. It wasn't as silly as she expected, but she guessed it would scare Madame Ripley to death. So Bianca ducked behind a table. Madame Ripley, she called. Please don't be scared. My name is Bianca, and I'm one of the four kids who's stuck in this house, and I want to get out. I know you can't see me, but you can hear me now, so type out your responses on the typewriter, and I'll read them. Bianca worried that Madame Ripley was going to get scared and run away, or that it didn't work and she couldn't really hear her. She hoped very, very hard that this was it, and she would finally be able to talk to the lady of the house. All right, my friends, that is the end of episode 29. Um, your mission of the day, well, I'm not going to tell you about your mission yet. First, you have to vote and decide um, what is the first question that Bianca should ask Madame Ripley. Um, because if she asks the right thing first, it might keep Madame Ripley in the room uh, by arousing her curiosity, or it might just confuse her and she'll run away. And I mean, who knows what's going to happen? So uh, tell us what you think uh, Bianca should ask Madame Ripley next. Um, and your mission of the day is to make a tower out of books. Find a bunch of books in your house that, you know, they're not like very special books. They can maybe get battered around a little bit um, and make a really tall tower by bouncing on them and stacking them on top of each other um, and do something fun with that. Uh, but that is it. Stay silly and vote. Tell a friend. Complete your mission of the day. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Bye-bye.